Guardians at our door as we enter night number five. This is tradition. Okay, no ranged enemies. Oh no, I see hunters in there, never mind. So we can move back here. I think that's good. And then you, let's get rid of this so that we can see what's going on. Wow, we got, I didn't expect to be killing Kindleds in a single shot there. We need to we need to be a little chilly here. No uh, no need to be too overzealous. Okay, next turn next turn we'll be fighting more properly. So let's get you safe ish. You're, you're as safe as you're gonna get. We'll do defensives, and the next turn we'll uh, we'll be heading for the hills. Okay. We'll have a we should have a target-rich environment starting this turn. I wonder if we have enough firepower to uh didn't didn't I give you like 30 accuracy? 20 accuracy, alright. Well Keep it rolling. Grab that. Get people generally to safety, I think. Okay, we know that this guy is loaded up with a decent amount of poison. Then if I move like this, I can sneak that in, and then you... Oh, hold on. Do I have another contaminate? No, I don't. Okay. How much is this doing? This is doing 84. So I need, like, both of those, unfortunately. I guess I can do that, and then maybe... Just poke this guy down. Oh, this guy's really not making it easy to uh, to take him down, but that's good enough. And then we can move back. Get you full health, why not? It's definitely not going to be a no panic night, but we might uh, we might be able to keep the panic relatively low if we can keep this uh, keep this trend going. 
Mm, we might not be able to keep this trend going. <laughs> I'm putting a bees here because this guy already has contaminate, so... I forgot we had Volatile over here. So let's see, one, two, one. So I, I'm putting two here because if we don't kill this guy, then we're, we're gonna lose the contamination spread. do have more contaminates to place. That's 188. That's not bad. I'm being a little overly conservative here with the uh, with the propagates. Ooh, I missed I missed this guy. Ah, that's okay. We're not we're not going to get everything on this one anyways. It is it is becoming ever increasingly clear to me that my my dreams of an S rank will be going away, but that's okay. Now you you were boomless, right? No, you have boom. Okay. So the future the future is looking bright for you, my friend. Yeah, unfortunately we have no poison in this space to to kind of spread. We could We did pick up septic shock. Which we apparently missed the stun on, which feels a little bad. Uh, we also don't have Contagion yet, so... sandwich myself into that little corner there and then we'll back up this way my, the pantsless wonder here is uh oh I did have another contaminate I could throw out that's a shame uh probably have to actually both of my people okay actually this is hmm we got problems, I'm realizing now. We, we might lose someone over here just due to having two powered up hunters and them having no HP. How much does this do? Up to 72. Yeah, things are gonna get bad over on the right hand side here. Yep, you're dead. Okay, wrong person died, uh, but yes. We, uh, we did not do a good job with that. I forgot that those heroes were so squishy. So that's our poison hero? That's a bummer. Oh, my, my dreams of contamination are, uh, are slipping away. Gotta, gotta love the hunters. They, uh, they catch you when you're not expecting it most. Or least. One of the two. It's weird that they picked the one that was far away, I will say. That was a that was a curious a curious surprise there. I don't know why I'm shooting the guy who's already dead to poison, but that's Yeah, 
Well, that was a shame. They were the poison hero hero who came up with no poison, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose too much sleep over that. And we do have an insane multi-hitter now in this hero if we can keep them alive. Holy cow, if we keep missing this hunter. Gotta love the hand crossbow's accuracy sometimes. Just hit that kindled for zero? That's kind of a bummer. Ooh, our momentum hero is taking some damage. Two shields and they're still uh they're still getting whacked. Who's blocking my vision here? It's you? Alright. Okay, what's the... What's the plan with the... Ooh, I was using the wrong hand crossbow. That's unfortunate. And hopefully I can run away far enough that these splitters aren't a, aren't a problem. Okay, looks good. Close, but no cigar. We still have... Alicia still has all their actions, which is good. All right, well... I'm just gonna do all three there. I wanna get rid of this, this guy. If nothing else happens over here, if I avoid any chip damage, that'll be good enough for my... Good enough for me. Hmm. How much damage does this do? Okay, that's not bad. Okay, we do get out of harm's way. Still have a bit of a something going on over here, but I do need to poke this guy once because he is like a few hit points away from from death. Man, I, I kind of liked that poison hero. We were we were building something interesting there, and uh, then we weren't. And we're getting a little pushback on this side. <laughs> um,
Probably not worth three action points to kill that guy. Okay, run away. I think we're probably one turn away from some of these walls on the corner falling here, which could jeopardize our gold mine. Just keep on hand crossbowing. That guy was a bad target of opportunity. That is for sure. How do you feel about being able to keep workers in reserve during a night to do things like repair walls, rearm catapults? Ooh, very clever concept there, uh, Fat Oak. That is, a, that is a really neat additional layer of strategy that you could add to the game. Right? Do you spend your workers on economy, or do you, uh, or do you save them for kind of like combat efficacy? I I think it's a really really good idea. Adds a lot of interesting interplay. I I will say that my my preference remains, or my hope remains, that they're going to take like the siege equipment and. Uh, Give it a, give it a makeover, basically, because I think in its in its current form, it's just kind of like it's just additional damage, and I think that that actually hurts the the power fantasy of the game. So I'd really love to see I really love to see them change defensive equipment to be completely non damaging. So have, my, my thought, the recommendation that I had for them was that catapults become, catapults become some type of like AOE snare, like a tar bomb or something like that. And, and then I think they could do some, some interesting things with like ballistas, maybe being like stuns on enemies, so on and so forth. But the idea being that they focus heavily on like, adding utility to defenses. I love the idea of a lure trap also, uh, where essentially you put down a trap and it kind of like forces enemies to move towards it, I think could be super interesting. But yeah, but barring that, I, I do like the idea of having having workers have useful uh, useful capabilities during the night and during the day, I think would be a fantastic idea. All right, well, we survived. We didn't lose anything other than the little corner of walls here. But yeah, right now the the ballistas just do so much work. It's it's kind of uh, it's kind of disgusting. Or has the they have the potential to do so much work, I should say. Let's see. And I think we still keep going money here. Because we're going to need to recruit another hero to uh, balance ourselves out. See what we can tuck into that corner there. Get our last warp gate, like, here-ish. Last warp gate for the moment, that is. And then I will do items with our last four here, last four workers. We might, we might do some building upgrades, so I won't, uh, I won't destroy the rest. Yeah, for sure. I, I think it's it, for me. It's much more about the RPG elements that than the uh, than the tower defense elements. But I, I agree with you that I think that that was not their vision. 
Let's see. Chanda is... We got a temple servant who's relatively low level. I don't really want a level 5 hero right now. So let's... Let's do our level ups and see if we can fish for a higher level hero. Let's see. You. Nice momentum pop there. That's very nice. And then we'll take some damage for sure. We get one of these. It's going to be proximity shot. Which is committing us to pistols, but I think that's okay. Extra action point here is nice. Yeah, Lakeburg Legacies did not uh, did not knock my socks off, sadly, Fat Oak. I, I played it early on, so I probably should go back and take a look at it again now that it's in full release. But it was not uh, it was not everything I was hoping for, unfortunately. Take the isolation, but I'm not happy about it. Take the damage. We're gonna get a dagger here, so I'll grab Epidemic. Yeah, so what it what it ended up being from my perspective was a lot like there's a memory game aspect to it that was kind of like I was kind of like oh, I just I just don't care enough to remember all the details of these people. Uh, Thurlow we take for sure. Yeah, this is our new hero. Thurlow is cool. Okay, that's interesting. Let's uh, let's see what Thurlow becomes though. I think Thurlow becomes our Druid Staff user once again. Yeah, and I think they're an even better version of it. I think we can go Mana Growth, Magic, Fuel, Contamination. We can go Sadist again and Runic Gift. Then we'll go Volatile. And then I think I will come back for Nimbleness. Uh, maybe, yeah. Well, no, actually, let's go Bully. And then we'll go Mana Collector, Hex, Potent Toxins. We don't even need Hex, honestly. Probably better off with Nimbleness and Quick Reload. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Technically get one more, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. So we'll go Mana Growth. Contamination, Magic, Fuel, Runic, Gift, Sadist, Volatile, Bully to start. Yes, Mika. Miko, I, I, don't, I don't generally go for those type of like reset cheese types of things. I, uh, I, don't, I don't begrudge people who do, but it's not, uh, it's not my idea of a good time. I, I, I like the, there to be a lot of consequences in the games that I play. <laughs> the the lack of poison... Oh, I just rolled past poison to get better poison, so I guess the game is, uh, is somewhat kind. But this has been a very bad set of secondary rolls here. I'll take the XP gain. Movement seems good. I'm going to take mana to get some damage and. So this is, this is 15 mana, which is like 5% damage versus this, which is like 8%. What's, what's the max mana you can ever have? 140? All right, well, we will, we will come up to that pretty quickly. Yeah, three movement is is exceptionally good. Love to see three movement. All right, so for now, you're a poison user, so you can take this stuff. You have two of the same. The sword is not really what we're looking for. Okay, so we got we got some corpse piles to deal with here. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you just have to eat the L, you know? <laughs> I, I think we have to take... Ah, no, that Druid Staff, it's okay. It's not amazing. The shield is interesting. We have to remember that that's not an Elite Corpse. We just got a nice roll on it. Take 
Take the reinforced shield with poison on it. That's pretty good. This one, uh, the pants aren't bad, actually. We have two people that we're trying to gear up here. So I'll roll this. Roll it again. Momentum hat isn't bad. We still need a dagger badly, though, I will say. We still need a dagger badly. Our momentum hero doesn't even have a pair of pants. Now, Thurlow, you're, you're poison. So let's see, for now, I think I prefer 23% poison, honestly. Give those to you, and then you can take those, you can take those. We get to sell this. That is so much movement, Adex. That's kind of crazy. In, in a very good way. Let's see, no daggers for sale. Game seems to think that I don't need the dagger that I think I need. This, this pistol is too good since we just took proximity shot. That's a big upgrade for us. Unfortunately, it means that we're, we got some weird things going on. Now, big wave is over here, so let's put you with Contaminate, and I think Supriya can solo aside, so I'm going to put Supriya over here. I think our Momentum Hero soloing this side is a little bit risky, but we'll, we'll go this way for now. And we definitely spent all our money, so... I guess that's that. Yeah, 15 movement is pretty insane. Especially when you think about the things like, uh, like inertia that can let you regain it, too. It goes a long way. All right, nice.